Okay, uh, since we already ended our presentation for uh, the concepts of a redistribution, we are going to configure this one using our packet tracer so that if ever I'm going to give you an activity, at least you know how to configure this one already. Okay, Sige. so let's end this one. Okay, let's end the presentation, and this will be our packet tracer lab activity. Okay, so we are going to, to answer that this is the this is the OSPF area network okay area zero don't have so meaning uh, this is a single area OSPF we are going to connect that to the EIGRP and we are going to connect that to RIP so basically all the, all of this network here can pass through the ABR ASBR here the autonomous system border router boundary router and um, access the internet uh, access our ISP so beforehand before anything else i have already no, no? i have already configured this one okay all the interfaces in our network here so that we are not going to waste time you know already how to to configure the interfaces right so if you are going to recheck um, kita manato siguro, no? so we have we have the interfaces already such as the 10 the 10 the 10 the 2 network here at this router and this router here has already um for a while so that the gigabit zero zero network serial zero serial zero zero one serial one zero all of these are being are um configured already with our interfaces same is true with the other network here so uh, we are going to pick up na lang the pace that we are going to configure the uh, uh, ospf okay configure the ospf na lang so spf area zero since usala ka buo ato lang ko on siya okay so this is B C. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. So that's the one. Ano, uh, that's the idea. So interface configuration is already done. Protocol configuration. This one. And then we are going to create a route distribution to each ABRs of your router, so that it can communicate with other router. Okay. So let's try to configure the OSP at first. Okay. Oops, sorry. So, naanata sa router OSPF1, then router ID of 1.1.1.1. Then, we are going to include all the network which is directly connected to this router. So, we have um, network 10, the 10, the 10, the 0 network with a wildcard mask of 0, the 0, the 0, the 3 then area zero okay then we have the network 11 that 11 that 11 the zero with the wildcard mask of zero that zero that zero that three at area zero then we have the 30 network 30 the 20 the 224 the 248 okay 0 the 0 the 0 the 3 also at area 0 okay so do show run so since three networks is already a updated and at the same time place at the ASBR so this is the only thing that we missed out so basically since this is not part of the SPF but this is a uh, default static configuration so we are going to redistribute the static configuration through all throughout the network here so um there are two ways to do that but this one is another the, the most um efficient way to do this okay so na naman sa solod sa ato ang ospf then we have to give the command default okay information originate so basically uh, the default information originate uh propagates all the static configuration coming from that ISP na to ang gay IP route so, uh, unless we, ha we have already created an IP route for this one I don't think wala pa siguro that's why kwan, no? so we are create we're going to create a static route first IP route 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0 that's why this is default because there is no specific one target so any any IP address with any subnet mask and our gateway or our next stop will be 
1 okay so basically this is the dot 1 so once once all the packet passes through this uh, router automatically it goes there to the ISP k default route man shop so let's check or let's inspect if this router has a an IP route already okay enable show run let me see there okay so probably all of the routes here will coming from this router uh, will be propagated down to this routers here okay so we are going to create an OSP app here also since we have not yet configured this one enable config D then um, command is router OSPF one then the next thing that we're going to do will declare router ID router ID of 2.2.2.2 oops sorry 2.2 with the network of 30.20.224.248 area 0 so basically this router and this router will be able to communicate now because both of them are in area 0 okay so let's try to pass forward this one so that we can see if it is already adjacent okay so there's adjacency already you now coming from 1.1.1.1 so 2 now is connected to 1 okay then we are going to configure the G00 here so network 20.15.128.236.0.0.0.3 area 0 okay so there will be two uh, networks so do show IP do show IP protocols okay so giving the command show IP protocol so there are two routes already that belongs to area 0 okay then we have the routing information uh, sources already now this is this is another way to display the protocol that you set in, in your uh, one interfaces so show IP route oh, sorry because we are going to put do day so do show IP route basically we have already seen that um, this router gives out already the default the default candidate or the default IP route so E2 stands for external type 2 in which this network here gets its IP address from OSPF yet that o that kind of protocol which is a static in nature is not part of the OSPF but rather an external type 2 okay so, yeah. so let's configure the third router here enable config D uh, basically you know this one already because we have finished you know we have finished already uh, protocol configuration especially the OSPF so ato lang giri review ginagmay so basically ato ni siyang i-configure sa uh, router OSPF 1 network ID I'm sorry router ID ano naman ko eh router ID of 2.2.2.2 okay enter the network of um 20.15.128.236.0.0.0.3 area 0 and the network 20.15.128.128 uh, okay with 31 okay so that would be our configuration let's try to pass forward this let us see kung nag adjacency na ba siya bugay tayo mag adjacency eh? so about this okay. do show run, run. so naan naman siya eh? 20.15 the 236 area 0 do show run okay 20 to 15 
the 236 236 03 236 03 Okay, so pareho sila pero ang problema is may lang SPF yan naman eh maybe may kwano no router na ang um, tawag na PC na yung gaayo okay let's try to ping this one to that one successful naman siya and this one communicate to this one sabotan eh communicate to sila but in this case wala so nga naman So Ethernet 0, 001, 2015 to 380. So I mean to 36 na siya unta. Okay. Kinaman na siya to 36. Naman to 36. Okay. Kami siya to 36. Naman. So kami siya makakita. Area zero silang dua. Do show IP route. Ani nila ko sa maning routing ani niya na ano magani. So supposed to be ang communicate na siya dere is bond eh ah is it any no um tell me no ospf1 ah i'm sorry no router ospf1 then mag router to balik ok router ospf1 then router id of 1,2,3 so 3.3.3.3 Okay. Then, atag na to network of 20.15.128.236.0.0.0.3 Then, area 0. Then, the other one is um, network 20.15.128.128 Okay. 0.0.0.31 na na area 0 ok hinara nyo kayo sya do show run ok so na na so in this case do show ip route ok wala pa niya ma deliver actually hinay nyo sya ok supposed to be nag-connect naman ng indua makita na ni unta nato ang sa makita na ni unta nato na nag-connect na ang there you are so hinay rin yun chat pero actually no kung it will be kwan, sa inyo ang part siguro ni pas pas ra ka yun ni sa kuang computer is very very slow pero sige lang na uh, timanol na sana nato okay now since we have already uh, determined connection gikan dere padulong adto okay then gikan dere padulong adto so successful na jud so we are going to configure the RIP now so first we go to the ABR then take note unahon sa nako si OSPF okay at this area here at this side here there is an OSPF then on this side there is the RIP so uh, enable config t then atag tag command na router ospf1 with the uh, router id of 123.4.4.4.4 then hatag taday yung command na network 11.11.11.0 0.0.0.3 area 0 
So basically, this is area 0. Ana. So the next nato is router RIP enter version 2. Okay? So at this point, we are going to configure the uh, router RIP of this router here. I'm putting the network this one. So um, no auto summary enter then network 192.168.1.0 0. Wala di ay na nada sa kwan na na nada sa IGRP na OSPF na wild card mask. But in RIP wala. So press enter. So finish at tadi ha. Then we jump to the next router. Okay. Then we are going to configure this network. Okay. Enable config T. Then router RIP enter version 2. Then we have to identify no auto summary. Then network 192.168.1.0 and network 2.0. Okay. Now, then we go to the router number 3. Okay. CLI. Enable. Config T. Then router RIP. Yeah. Version 2. Then hatag tada yung command na network ani 3 and 5. Okay. So network. 192.168.2.0 3.0 and 5.0 So basically, humanata sa atong routing Ping here to here Yes Ping here to here Yes, of course Yeah Ping here to here No Na naman Why? Because this is RIP and this is OSPF So di pa siya kalabang unless we are going to redistribute that. Okay. So, balintan din sa PCAS router. And we are going to configure them. Okay. So, again, same process. We are going to configure OSPF first. Okay. Na siya sa night part of this network. Isa na OSPF. So, enable. Config T. Then, router OSPF. 1. Then, router ID of 5.5.5.5. Then, basically, we are going to put the network, no? the network 10.10.10.0, 10 .10 0.0.0.3, 10 0 0 okay, at area 0. So, kung up na siya, pasabota na, may communicate na si kaninga router and kaninga router. Okay? Kaya, there, na GCC na siya. So, let's try to ping one of both. Okay, para pa ping this one to that one. Okay, successful. Ping this one to that one. Okay, wala pa. There, successful na. So, pero, pani siya? Dili pa dyan. Malabang pa man siya. There is a young area border router. Okay, so let's try to configure AIGRP here. Oops, sorry. Wala pa takahuman dere. The second portion that we are going to configure is the AIGRP. So, router, router, EIGRP 10. Okay? Then, no auto summary. Then, natagta tayo network. And sa mga network na naasa iya ha. So, we have two networks. Um, this one, the 198, 198.15.224.0, 0.0.0.26 is pila 3163 no 63 so that is 192 minus 255 so 255 minus 192 is 63 okay enter manana so let's you jump to the next network okay sir ganun wala pala gito ni mugi appeal si 10 because 10 is not part of the EIGRP no that's why Mm, dili dyan siya pwede ni mo i-appeal or else magkayabag yung router ana so enable config t ang i-appeal na nato is ayan eh, kaugaling yung network right so enable config t router eigrp 10 then we are going to configure no auto summary okay then the network network niya is duha kabuok this network and this network here so that's 198.15 
0.224.0 network with the wildcard mask of 63 okay then the other one is the 2.64 2.64 there so kung kumantay ka na dual na so everybody knows what's dual already mauna siya makita na to if our if our protocol is AIGRP so dual siya meaning D uh, stands for uh, diffusing update algorithm so na may change na na siya from AIGRP 10 and the neighbor is 224.1 is here okay sige so the next network is I said is this one so manataan na we'll jump to the next router enable and enter enter enable config d then router eigrp then then afterwards we are going to configure the lo0 uh bugets the no auto summary then network lo0 is 198.15.224.128 0.0.063 enter next network is the 64 para makakonekta sa pikas na router there actually yun no? pas pas na basta kung yun EIGRP then the G01 which is the 224.192 224.192 so mulat na lang siya to communicate with this router here so we are going to configure this one too okay enter enter enable config d then router eigrp then okay then uh, no auto summary enter network Ang network ng gamito na to is 198.15.225.0 network 0 0.0.0.63 okay and the other one is the network 198.15.224.192.0.0.0.63 so basically up siya dahil no? so as we know that this router here can ping this router yes this router can ping that router yes successful this router can ping this router true and this router can ping this router failed so as we know that this is EHRP dili di siya communicate ni RIP so the best thing that you are going to do is you go to your ABRs then configure redistribution there sa so, ganito pagkuhan sa redistribution so finish already the protocols finish ni na to done na sila so you go to the ABR and configure the route this redistribution okay so you go to your ABR okay since you are now inside your um, tawagan eh, uh, since you are now inside your own uh, EIGRP route so you are going to incorporate OSPF inside the EIGRP right so if you are in the router OSPF K1 you are going to incorporate now inside here the EIGRP okay so let's try first router OSPF 1 we are going to incorporate the EIGRP here giving the command redistribution EIGRP 10 okay so what's next it says there you are going to put the metric value okay then question mark so what is the default metric there that's one okay and what's next then you are going to put the word submits Okay, so that's it. CR dayon, meaning courage return, enter. So, pasabot ato, kung i do show run na nato, inside our OSPF, there is already the redistribute EIGRP. So, inside now EIGRP, we are going to redistribute OSPF. Okay? Sige, let's go to EIGRP. Router EIGRP 10, enter redistribute OSPF 1 okay question kung sa kuno nga itong redistribute number 1 ang metric okay question number 2 what would be the bandwidth so the bandwidth is what I have told you in my what you call this in my lecture sa concept it should be 100,000 
okay then afterwards if you have placed the bandwidth already what's next the EIGRP delay metric which is 10 microsecond units so 10 mu so I'm going to put 10 question mark so how much reliable is this uh, line how much reliable is this line so very reliable therefore it's 255 okay question mark how much load so if 255 is 100% loaded so I'm going to put it one para dili siya loaded kaayo right okay then question mark then what is the EIGRP MTU of the path so what is the uh, maximum um, transfer unit niya so that would be by the default of 1500s mana na siya so question mark CR na so wala na so we have press enter so we have already distributed the EIGRP no, the OSPF to become an EIGRP so to show run so this time we can now see that the OSPF is now redistributed to EIGRP 10 ok so I'll close this one and we can see if we can ping this one this one this one can ping already well, no problem but this is an EIGRP network can ping ba dito sa RIP network Ah, RIP network, yeah, LSPF network. Yeah, successful na. So, kung tanaw na to, ato ang wonder eh, no? Ato ang uh, enable show IP route enter. So, tanaw na to atong route. Ha? Masahon na to pag maayo. So, in our route here, we have already an OSPF X2. Uh, EE2. E so, E2 is what? E2 is an OSPF external type 2. So, the external type 2 here, gikandere, kanisilang lima, is the EIGRP. Right? EIGRP ni siya na uh, network. Punta na ang una to dere, sa tomoy, then we have to give the command do show IP route. So, basically, this is the, the, paano, no? the routing table of this router. It says there, na anak ko DX pod. So, EX stands for, pangitaw na itong EX. EX stands for EIGRP external. So, and this external points out to the 10. So, kanin siya kanong, the point out into sa 10 network, which is this network here. Okay? That is the external of the EIGRP. And this stands for EIGRP man, di ba? So, EIGRP has an external type 2 or external um, network uh, not part of the EIGRP but rather um, one um, external part of the EIGRP network so what's the difference between the D asterisk X and the DX so the D there stands for uh, an EIGRP with a default route and that default route is also an external route other than the EIGRP network okay and that points to any other network Okay, with any subnet mask. So basically, this points to what? To where? To our ISP. Okay? Sige. So since we have ping already, we have ping already the um, OSPF and AHRP, we are sure na kanin siya, makaping yun siya dere. This one can ping this one already, right? Successful na. So kung maping yun niya, sikane, maping yun niya sikane there maping yun niya si kan eh there you are can can this router ping the ISP yes of course so meaning the EIGRP network has already gained access to the uh, the OSPF and the ISP but can it gain access to the RIP okay there you are dara pa lang na pero inside wala ano man Nanong din nakaping man siya because portion of this one is still an OSPF, right? So we're going to delete that. So what are we going to do is we are going to transform also this ABR so that it can what? It can redistribute the RIP to become an OSPF. Okay? So here, um, what are we going to try to do is router OSPF one redistribute. Okay? 
redistribute ko na na to ang sa mga redistribute to ng RIP okay, kaya naamata sa sulod sa SPF redistribute our RIP, question mark what are we going to redistribute for our one, the metric okay the metric okay, then afterwards question mark what is the default OSPF metric? That's one. Question mark. And, unsa pa yun na subnets. Okay. Enter. So, basically, we have transformed already, do show run, we have transformed already the, the RIP to become OSPF. And we go to the RIP and put the OSPF here. Okay. So, router RIP, enter version 2, then mo tagtaday command na redistribute OSPF1 okay question mark then we have the metric question mark what is the default metric 1 okay question mark and wala na enter so do show run okay from the RIP2 we have already redistributed the OSPF to become an RIP so let's try to ping I'll ping this one to this one okay successful this one to that one it's successful already so this one ping this one okay this one ping that one okay this one to ping that one oops okay atong papasa sa ping this one yes it can ping right but this one, can it ping this one? Successful. So, iyahan ng na-redistribute kay, basically, uh, na-change na niya ang RIP to become, it, basically, the, the RIP became an OSPF already, an OSPF as seen by the EIGRP. Then, how about uh, EIGRP network can be read by mabasa ba niya si RIP? Yes, of course. So, that's how we redistribute our network uh, from RIP to become EIGRP, EIGRP to become SPF, or SPF to become EIGRP. And take note, how come nga nakita nila ang this one, ang static? Did we redistribute static? Basically, yes. Katong command na to ganihan na originate, okay, default. Uh, Pagkita ko na to, to siya, no? Uh -huh. Nasa bagoron to show run okay this one this command here enables you to propagate the um, the static route to any other um, protocols you know, via OSPF okay do you have any question with this so kung wala tayo question uh, I guess uh, I am going to upload some of the uh, activity for you to answer but first uh, kung ganahan mo uh, I'm going to upload this one also para makuha ninyo mapraktisan after you practice this one another set of activity which is more, far more difficult than the other okay so uh, atong itry o guan uh, this router here okay, isimulate na to para makita na to nindot man yun simulation okay here then you have to give the command exit adere exit adere ping he ping na to si uh, 192.168.5.1 correct so yan turn na to so kina na makita niya si 5.1 this one will work on 5.1 there tao niya there okay there there there. So, nakita niya si 5.1. Check. Okay. So, kabalo naman ta, basta kuha nga ni pinging. Apat man dyan nakabuok or lima man dyan nakabuok. Okay. So, uh, nagbalik na. So, panunta lang na. No? Reseta. So, how about pinging something which is not existing? Okay. What do I mean with that? So, let's say for example, I ping Google, ping 
Asa na niya pangitaon? Does this IP address run? Does this IP address exist in this network? No? Tanaw na ito kung magkita ba niya. Okay. Asa niya pangitaon? Kaya di man na niya magkita sa SPF or IP. So, nagawa siya sa internet. Pagawa siya sa internet, ah, dito na siya. Okay. And we'll take a half until such time ma-expire na ang atong TTL or time to leave. Okay? Ang time to leave niya until such time it expires. So, sigaw na siya balik-balik. Okay? So, mahal na siya ang simulation sa atong network na from EIGRP it, it ping the OSPF, then it ping the, kwan, the RIP. So, let's try pinging the this one. Okay? Let's try in this one. Okay. Ping na to si this one. Wag yun siya kita, no? Wag yun siya kita sa kanina address. Pero, iping na to si 20.15.128.129. Makita ba ni niya? Okay, so enter. Ulat na lang si Koan. Minimize na to ni. <coughs> then, let's try to look for it. Kinsama na siya. Okay, that's very specific. Kabalo yun siya kung asan niya pang itaon. Nabantay mo. No? Okay. Mora na siya gihapon. So, if you have any question kung paano na siya i-configure, I hope, no, uh, I've explained it to you correctly or properly na nasabta ninyo ang redistribution. Okay, because of during my finals, mora ba niya akong final exam po, portion of which is my final exam. So, uh, imagine na na lang na ako ibutang na rin DHCP, ibutang na ako sa laing protocol. So, if you cannot dili ka maka-convert that protocol into that protocol di ito ka kakawag IP address okay so um, this will end my presentation and if I were you I am going to read ahead chapter 7 which is the access list access list is very very difficult so I want you to read ahead access list first before I'm going to give it to you magbuhat na sa ikong scenario magbuhat na sa ikong um another slides nga different from Cisco okay kay para dili lang kay Cisco nga to ang kwan ba source ba also other source also ba basin makapunita dito og something very easy to kwan <coughs> very easy to conceptualize okay so if you have if you don't have any question I can leave you here I'm going to edit pada the video and send it back to you. I will send it to you through um, Google Drive. Okay? So, if you have any question, thank you and goodbye. Peace out.